years. He had been wearing this velvet-like coat that kind of blossomed out of the bottom like a gown. But at a Columbia, Maryland coffee shop, the former Washington Star reporter says the European star was a sport about it, especially after it happened again. We went to Emerson's restaurant in Silver Spring on Eastern Avenue. The hostess was taken aback. So they put us in a booth and the booth had curtains and they closed the curtains on us. The waitress would come over and open the curtains. Would you like something? This was the start of David Bowie's first trip to the U.S., according to Michael Oberman, who in 1971 was also 24 years old and a music journalist. His brother, a director of publicity at Mercury Records, Bowie's American label. Bowie was on his first promotional tour in the U.S., hoping to become as popular here as he already was in Europe. But not your normal tour. They went to Oberman's parents' Silver Spring home first. He really wanted to spend his first day in the United States with an American family. Sharing conversations about literature and acting. Intelligent, gentlemanly. That day in Silver Spring, Maryland is what's embedded in my mind more than anything else. You know, just spending time with a nice guy. Overman even says Ben Stein once played a poker game here, but he still tells me of all the people he interviewed and all the experiences he had, his time here with David Bowie is still one of his favorite memories. In Silver Spring, Stephanie Ramirez, WUSA 9. I'm just trying to imagine that conversation. Hey, Mom, hey, Dad, can, can David Bowie spend the night? Is that, is that cool? Is that be all right? But they wouldn't have known back then. Yeah, I mean, he, he wasn't really a sensation here yet. So it would have been like, okay, the delayed just a strange dude. It's the delayed reaction. Yeah. Like, but, he was here. But oh wow, that was incredible. Notice he talked about literature and stuff. Very smart man. Yeah, for mm -hmm. sure. Yeah. All right, three degree guarantee. Ready? How we do? Uh, pretty well. We did, okay. uh, well, we did very well, actually. Not a bullseye, but pretty well. We went uh, 33. And I was actually thinking of backing it down to 32. I didn't. But 32 was the actual number. So 33 of the last 34, not bad. And we're going to go 45 for tomorrow, a little bit above average tomorrow. Live look outside. It is our live Michael and Son weather camp. We're down to 28. Dew points are still in the single digits. I thought about lowering low temps tonight, but I think with the winds now generally out of the east southeast, they'll become southwesterly and some cloud cover. I think I'll still keep it in the upper teens to uh, upper 20s. So a cold start no matter what, but it's just a chilly finish to Thursday. So kids are going to need a hat and gloves and scarf at the bus stop. They'll carry some of that stuff home. Bus stop temperatures 18 to 34. Milder Friday, chilly and wet Friday night, and then just some morning showers on Saturday and cool. And right now, this system doesn't look as potent as it did, say, 24 hours ago. It's still going to be showery on, fr on Friday night, but maybe not as much heavy rain. Okay, so day the uh, forecast for tomorrow, future cast, 6 o'clock. We're in the 20s. I mean, 23 in Gaithersburg, 25 Manassas, uh, 25 also in Fairfax. And then by uh, mid-morning, we go back in the low 30s, almost to 32. Uh, 31 in Manassas, 31 in Leesburg. Uh, 31 also in Bowie and Silver Spring and then a few high clouds from time to time tomorrow, but we'll be back in the mid 40s, even 40 in Hagerstown, even 45 in Winchester. So on the day planner 20s to start, but then we see some progress here. 39 by 11 o'clock and 44 by 1 o'clock Friday. The day is fine, mainly showers at night 51 and then morning showers on Saturday and upper 40s. That's still not a bad day either. Next seven days. We still have snow showers in uh, Sunday afternoon and evening. Another Arctic front. And then look at that. We're in the 20s Monday and Tuesday, only in the fr around freezing mark on Wednesday. Whoa. Burr. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Well, listen, we're, we're just now hearing uh, from the California lottery. They've just tweeted out that there is at least one winner of the Powerball lottery in Chino Hills, California. Still waiting to hear if they're.